Get it? That was the corniest joke ever. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for watching. Today I'm going to be doing like a pack with me for a wedding, I guess. Um, you guys really liked the pack with me that I did for the bachelorette party that was a few weeks ago and you really liked my wedding week vlogs where I showed you like what I was packing for my wedding. But this time I'm a bridesmaid and I was like putting all my stuff together and I was like, maybe I should film this? because maybe you can show it to your bridesmaids. I'm not entirely sure how I'm doing this, but I can just say that, oh, this bag is picking, great. That I am gonna be sharing things in this video that's like, you may not think about. Just like very random things that I feel like we forget sometimes being bridesmaids. Like I have been a bridesmaid before, and it's just things that like you kind of seem to look over. Every wedding is different, every situation is different, so if you see something here that you wouldn't bring or I left something out, just know that this is what I'm packing for our situation and the wedding that we are going to and that I'm going to be in. So just keep that in mind. If you are new here, make sure to go below and click the subscribe button. My name is Mariah. I put up two to three videos every single week in all different types of topics. Almost couldn't get that out. In the comment section, we are hate free, so you can actually go below, leave a positive comment, project positivity into the world, join the fam, and let's go ahead and get into today's video. Okay, so I'm going to be taking this Daisy Rose tote with all of my stuff in it. Now I know it seems so weird. You have your dress and your shoes and you're fine, but it's not always the case for everybody. So we are getting our hair done and most of the girls are getting their makeup done, but I'm doing my own makeup and I'm doing another girl's makeup. It was kind of an option based on if we were comfortable enough doing our own makeup, then we could, and I am, and I'm just doing another girl's just because she wants me to. I did my own makeup on my wedding day. I did a full blog post on what I used, so I'll link that in the description bar below. So I will be taking all of my makeup but I wanted to tell you guys, take your makeup anyway. By the way, this is a Louis Vuitton dupe. They don't say they're Louis Vuitton's anywhere on them. I'll link them in the description bar below and the Amazon video right here where I share more about them. But I'm going to take all my makeup with me. It does all fit in here because I have heard of situations and I even know somebody who they got their makeup done and they hated it hated it and so they went back to the house and did their own makeup like they literally washed off what they had just gotten done by a makeup artist for a wedding and went and redid their own makeup and honestly I saw her like she looked so good so you wouldn't have even known but that's besides the point you just never know I actually had an allergic reaction during my bridals to airbrush makeup and if I wouldn't have done a trial like if I would just gotten to my wedding day I would have had an allergic reaction that's horrible. So you just always need to be prepared. Always bring your own makeup just in case. Just in case. You never know. But I am taking my own makeup because I am doing my own makeup. This will go in here. Of course, apart from your dress and your shoes, you want to take some sticky boobs. I know that this is like a weird topic to talk about. <laughs> But I got these from Target. These just have the little side adhesive, but they also are adhesive um, on the bra portion. I don't find this like fully necessary, but you just never know. Again, like our dresses, they kind of have like a built in bra in a way, but I don't know. My boobs don't feel like they're going to stay up. So I'm taking sticky boobs just to kind of keep them in place so that like this will catch with the fabric inside of it. So my boobs won't like fall like down if that makes sense so take a sticky boob or a strapless bra or whatever will work with your bridesmaid's dress I'm taking this one because the girls they just need help okay so I did talk about this in Tuesday's video on how I care for my clothes now this is a portable steamer and every time I don't take this somewhere I end up needing it I am taking this to literally every wedding that I am in for the rest of time because it never fails whether it's a mother a grandmother a bridesmaid the bride or even a groomsman somebody needs a steamer you have that one wrinkle it is the best day of that couple's lives they are putting so much money and time and effort into that day and you don't want a wrinkle to ruin a picture or something like that so I always bring a steamer with me when I am traveling to weddings when I am going to a wedding it just it it comes with me it makes me feel better so I'm taking this with me for Saturday next up I did talk about the jewelry organizer in that Amazon video that I linked now I don't have anything in here just yet because a lot of the jewelry that I'm gonna wear like I will like have it 
packed yet or I'll wear it this week. Um, but this is a gorgeous and amazing jewelry organizer that was created by Elizabeth Rose Designs. It is so good and fits so much jewelry. Now, taking jewelry is obviously like not always a necessity because sometimes you have the bride who's going to give you jewelry, but we aren't entirely sure what jewelry, if we're getting any, what she's giving us, if she's not giving us any at all. So I'm literally taking like a lot. And then I guess if she doesn't give us jewelry, I'll just sit with the bridesmaids and be like, what are we wearing? Um, a lot of us have these like gold hoops. So like maybe we'll wear that. I don't know, but it really just depends on each bride. If your bride is giving you jewelry, obviously you need to wear that jewelry. Even if she says she doesn't care, wear the jewelry. I gave my girls a gorgeous little like rose gold pendant and then some earrings and then they got to wear whatever bracelets and whatever rings they wanted. You just never know so I always go prepared. I say always like I've just been in hundreds of weddings too but I feel like after you go through your own you just know. You know. So these these little bad boys are a necessity. If you were getting your hair done, it doesn't matter, you still need these. Curling iron, hairspray. Because when that hairdresser leaves, or when you leave that salon, all their stuff stays with them. You don't know what can happen. I have a tendency to have these lovely, this piece here, as I know a lot of people do, this little piece that's in front of my ear, and this piece that's in front of my ear, they want to uncurl. And actually, for my wedding day, I had these down and curled, and they kept on curling. So always take a curling iron and some hairspray just in case you have to touch it right before the ceremony. You just never know. So always be prepared is good. Better to be over prepared than under. Flip flops. I know it's weird, but these are something I legitimately almost forgot for my own wedding. And I wear these a lot. You don't necessarily think about having to like walk around or what could come up. I feel like a lot of this stuff is like you just have to be prepared, but that's true. So you just don't know what will happen, where you'll be walking, what you'll be on. So always take just an extra pair of like flat comfy shoes. You can even take just honestly like bedroom slippers depending on where you're going. But I take flip flops because if I'm wearing a robe with the bride, if I'm wearing like a big t-shirt, it doesn't matter. You're going to need shoes. And I feel like when I'm packing, I just think to myself, if I have my dress and my shoes for the wedding, I'm good, but you do need an extra pair. And also, I mean, if you wanna take your heels off, you got yourself a little pair of flip flops. Next up, I actually need to text the bridesmaids and just ask. Um, we do know that the bride is giving us like big white, like men's t-shirts that are monogrammed to get ready for on the day of the wedding. I gave my girls robes. So you wanna wear something underneath that, whether it be gym shorts or leggings. Um, I think we actually had some of the girls wear both. I could be wrong. Maybe they all just wear gym shorts, but like when it comes time for pictures, you all need to match. So if you have on the shorts, it's easier to just like pull them up and hide them, or you're gonna have to like take off the leggings to match. So I just want to make sure that I take a pair of bottoms because you don't wanna be walking around in your underwear, whether it's a big t-shirt or a robe. You just never know. We had a lot of people coming in and out and I was even in gym shorts um, when I was getting ready for my wedding and I, there would have been some times I've been like, oh, Oh my god, please don't come in here if I was like just wearing underwear. So those are coming with me. I'm also taking a cardigan. So I'm taking a black cardigan because the dresses that we are wearing are black and it's still springtime so it could get very cold at night. You just never know. So I'm taking a cardigan because I know me. I'll get cold and I want to not look like I'm sticking out like a sore thumb. So I want to just be able to like wrap black cardigan around me if I get cold. Of course this is after the wedding. Don't don't stress a bride out and like put on a cardigan and her be like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to take the cardigan off. Just know that it's for like the reception if it gets cold. That is why I'm taking one because I know me. Me gets cold. I get cold. Also, a phone charger. Now, we live in a just generation where you guys know mine's, mine's a little jacked up. It's okay. We live in a generation where everybody always has their phones, so usually you always have a phone charger, but you're gonna be gone all day when you're in a wedding, so you definitely need that, because you just never know. You never know. That should be the title of this video. You never know. And then finally, two things that I don't actually have with me, a clear umbrella, because the rain could literally pop out of the sky in no, from nowhere, and being prepared, being that bridesmaid that has the clear umbrella, it's important, and I always take a clear umbrella, even if I'm a guest in a wedding. Now. I'm a girl that it doesn't matter if it's like pouring rain in the middle of your ceremony. If you're standing up there trying to get married, I will sit through the pouring rain. I don't care. I've actually sat through rain in a wedding before outside in a ceremony. It was raining and I was like, keep on keeping on, honey. You can just get yourself married. 
it does not matter about the rain. But in the case that it does, you want to be prepared. You want to have that clear umbrella ready to go. We did tell our girls like, hey, if it rains, we're going to still kind of go through with the ceremony if we can. So just make sure you bring an umbrella. I didn't necessarily say clear, but like I purchased a clear umbrella. So now I take it with me to every wedding I go to. And then also a snack. So this is very important if you are a bridesmaid. Sometimes I feel like we forget to eat. <laughs> it's a very busy day. It's very stressful. Sometimes you just, that's something you forget about. And so taking like fruits and nuts, things that are going to fill you up, that they're not going to like bloat you. They're not crazy. They're not going to make a mess. That is something that's super important. But also I'm going to take chocolate because, you know, I mean, I got a sweet tooth. Like your girl needs some chocolate. But also if you need a little boost of energy or even just like a little bit of sugar, like fill your blood sugar, get low. You just don't know. Okay, so you need some chocolate. You need a snack. Those are the things that I am taking with me to this wedding. Kaylee and Steven, I am ready and I'm excited. So I hope this video helped you guys kind of know what to pack for your own wedding, what to have your bridesmaids pack for your wedding, or if your bridesmaid, what to pack. Just always be prepared. Be overly prepared. But as you can see, like I'm not carrying in like six bags of stuff. This literally fits in one large tote. You don't need to be moving into the venue. Just take a bag, be prepared, and you'll be good to go. But at the end of the day, if that girl's married, it doesn't matter if you forgot the curling iron. It doesn't matter if you forgot the snacks. Your friend's getting married. That is what is most important, and always remember that. Thanks, guys, for watching. Make sure to go below and click the subscribe button if you are new here, and I hope that I see you in my next video.